beautiful melodies will resound through some of the most elegant concert halls in Montreal this June. Talented artists from different parts of the world will meet on these grand stages to communicate with the universal language of music. The 28th Montreal Chamber Music Festival this year celebrates the dedication and imagination required to produce mesmerizing music. Cellist Dennis Brandt says part of the pleasure of organizing the festival each year is the satisfaction of finding different artists to perform together and different themes the festival hasn't yet explored. Because there's no limit to imagination and there's no limit to possibilities um, as long as you allow them to happen. So sometimes you dream. The festival founder dreamed of telling a lesser known story about the Russian composer Tchaikovsky. He's organized an evening of music, along with actors reading letters from the self-doubting composer and his wealthy patroness, whose donations enabled him to leave his professorship in Russia to write music full-time in Italy. Their relationship was platonic. In fact, the two never met, but their letters betray an unexpected intimacy. This relationship really fascinated me, and I came across a book this thick of all the letters between them. And I said, this is something we have to get two actors on the stage, one Tchaikovsky, one Nadezhda von Meck, and select carefully the letters between these people and read them at the beginning of the pieces and even in between the Tchaikovsky pieces, in between the movements of the Tchaikovsky pieces that we're playing. So I selected two works, one the great piano trio, which is a masterpiece, and as well after intermission, the Souvenir de Florence, of course, which he wrote in Italy. Um, and I've done a transcription of that for a string ensemble. So there'll be 17 musicians on stage. And this will be the first time it's played in that kind of a version. And we'll have, you know, established and brilliant young performers on stage. And these two actors reading letters, which will be kind of shocking uh, because of the content of the letters and the intimacy that they uh, portray and reveal in these two characters. You'll find two other characters at the festival. American pianist and composer Conrad Tao and dancer Caleb Teicher will perform as the duo Counterpoint. The combination of piano and tap dance is to say the least unusual, okay? It's not something that you see normally, but in a way, there's something inherently copacetic about it, homogenous. Why? Because at the base of all music is rhythm. And at the base of all dance is rhythm. You can't have dance without music. Uh, that's mime. <laughs> um, and, and so bringing these two together, it's powerful. I'm excited, really excited about this program, and I think it's the first time ever in Montreal. Performing for what may very well be their last time ever in Montreal is the Emerson String Quartet, as the group plans to disband. It's, of course, very bittersweet. Uh, to see this great musical ensemble, certainly one of the greatest quartets ever, come to an end. But it's remarkable, you know, that this quartet has this track record of recordings and Grammy Awards and, and representing the finest in chamber music for America in the world. I mean, it's been America's ambassador. So yes, this will be their absolute last concert in Canada. Uh, and rather than have them play a string quartet concert, uh, I wanted them to play, first of all, I wanted us to play together. So we're doing a piece together. But one of their fellow Deutsche Grammophon recording artists is a young Canadian by the name of Jan Leszetsky, who's of Polish, Polish family origin, but born in Canada and trained in Canada. And he's now one of the top young 
pianists in the world and they share the same label, Deutsche Grammophon. So I'm putting them together for the first time. Of course, Jan is over the moon happy with this last chance he has to ever play with the Emerson String Quartet. And as you know, Paul, we've been doing this for decades here at the festival, bringing the best young people together with the established world stars and creating a musical magic on stage. So uh, that's what I think this will be. For more magic on stage, a group of musicians will perform two enchanted classics, The Carnival of the Animals and Peter and the Wolf, with narration by actor Jean Marchand. People under 16 may attend this show for free, at a time when Brat worries about the lack of exposure kids have to fine music. Music in the schools has dwindled away in some places to almost nothing. And the appreciation of the role that music can play in a child's life in terms of igniting their imagination and making them think and see things through sound uh, is some, it's something that is lacking. So the festival has tried every year to do something to stimulate young people and young people's attendance at concerts. When Brock came face to face with his own mortality during a nearly fatal case of COVID-19, and his brother Boris died as a pedestrian struck by a car, the events gave the cellist a new perspective on life and on the festival he'd created. You know, usually you pay tribute to people when they're dead. And I don't like that idea. I wanted to pay tribute to Oliver Jones. Jazz has been an interest of mine personally uh, and something we used to do uh, at the festival more than we are doing it now. Uh, So I created a program called A Tribute to Oliver Jones. The evening will feature musicians who had played with the jazz pianist, as well as players who performed with Jones's mentor, Oscar Peterson. So there'll be eight or nine people on stage, basically a jam session. Oliver will be there. This is the time to celebrate him. And so I want him to see this celebration. I want him to experience this celebration and the audience as well partake in this with him there in his presence. More than 65 musicians will participate in the festival this year. They come from Asia, the United States, Quebec, and other parts of Canada. Among them, 26 will appear for the first time at the Montreal Chamber Music Festival. The festival begins June 4th and lasts until June 18th. The venues include the Maison Symphonique at Place des Arts and the Salle Bourgie at the Musée des Beaux-Arts, where you may hear the music surrounded by Tiffany windows. For more information about performers, tickets, online events, and free concerts, head to festivalmontreal.org. Spotlight is supported by the Glenn and Carol Pearsall Adirondack Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for year-round residents of the Adirondack Park.